Welcome to Milk and Honey. We have a couple of projects to do today. Very simple projects, but still we're gonna get it done. And I am going to be having a special guest today. My son is gonna be helping me. So I moved my meat chickens back to where they were. Um, I haven't processed them. I will process them this weekend. And we're gonna move the baby chicks to the chicken track there. So we're gonna be swapping places. Be gentle, okay? Put them in there. Be gentle, be gentle, be gentle. All the way down, all the way down. <laughs> like that, Psh. like that, okay? Put them in there, put them in there. <laughs> I have to come and clean this mess right here. I'm gonna put all my mulch on my bananas and on my trees. As you can see, my cats don't even bother my chickens. They will be processed by the weekend, hopefully. And I put that um, privacy screen. I ordered a larger one because this is actually shade cloth. And um, as you guys know, I'm not supposed to have chickens. So um, just for a little bit of privacy. Um, yeah, but I ordered a privacy screen. A six feet tall by 50 feet long privacy screen. But look how long my grapes grew. They're all the way over here and I am actually going to just cross it there and just trail it on the side of my fence. So basically this little thing right here um, is gonna be for my grape. I have another one here, but it's not very prolific. But that one's taking over. So the idea right here is for that the chickens can fertilize the ground, remove all the weeds, and I am going to be adding more blackberries. Now I had some red berry, raspberries there, but um, most of them are not doing well. And I also had some blueberries that didn't do well either. The blueberries left me two years and the third year they died on me. They were on irrigation but that still still didn't work. So these blackberries are super prolific. I mean, they blew my mind. This year was the, the second year they fruited, but um, they fruited so much and the taste was really, really, really good. I mean, it does not compare to your store-bought um, blackberries. So I'm gonna put blackberries here and another row here. See, those are my raspberries sad little thing right there and then I have another one tiny over there but look at the difference it's not thriving but look at this one so I'm going to be adding um, more blackberries here and I have a lot of um, like volunteers you see right here they're like they're runners they throw runners so this one right here I am just going to move it and put it over there but yeah, I'm just going to be propagating my own um, blackberry bushes and putting them on the other side. I also tried my very first um, persimmon. Now I tried it when it wasn't like jelly, it was more like softer, but it wasn't my favorite. Um, it tasted, to me, it tasted like honeydew. Like I said, it was still not super ripe. So this is like a very, very sweet honeydew. Just pour on the sugar. Um, I really didn't taste any flavor profile. Not my favorite. Still a very gorgeous tree. My husband didn't mind it. He said that it tasted like pumpkin, which I don't know where he got pumpkin from. But yeah, I don't know. Not my favorite. Okay, just letting you guys know, my cats get dewormed every six months. So, because they are outside cats and they do hunt, I do deworm them every six months. Are you, are you, are you? 
Are you okay, Lemon? How many lemons do you have? How many lemons? This is my son Cristiano. He is going to be nine years old in November. Um, he is on the spectrum. Um, he was nonverbal, but now he speaks all the glory to God. <laughs> more. Okay, get them more over there. There's more down there. Get that one. What does it smell like? What does it smell? Smells delicious or disgusting? Delicious, okay. What do you have? One. One. Two. Two. Three. Three. Four. Four. Five. Six. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Nine. Ten. Ten. Eleven. Twelve. 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 Thirteen. Thirteen. One hundred and three. Yes or no? Yes. Okay. Thumbs up? Thumbs up. Show me thumbs up. Good job. Pretty little face. Where's your pretty little face? Also, the Asian Roselle, the red Roselle, it's starting to flower. Okay, so the plans for my 44 chickens, no, I got 42 chickens now, um, two of them died. Um, so I'm going to put them all around here I'll put the privacy fence. I'm going to fence them in with some T-posts and chicken wire. And I want them to scratch everything right here. I don't have, I only have my perennials. All my little, little ceilings I have at the edge. So from here to there, I'm gonna let them scratch and remove every single weed. And then once they are done with this uh, particular section, I'm going to water it down and put cardboard down and then add a very good layer of mulch. And hopefully they do better for next year. But yeah, that's my plans. So I'm gonna keep doing that. Um, I think these 40 chickens are gonna last me quite some time. Um, and I'll see if I do like 10, 15 there. And then when I have, when I see a good sale, cause sometimes it's buy one, get one free, the chickens. So I'll try to wait for the sale. It's usually around June, July. So I'll do like 10, 15 at a time. And then when I see a good sale, I'll raise a bunch at one time. And I will put them here so they could de-weed and fertilize my ground. I found this watermelon. I don't know if it's going to be any good, but um, I guess we'll see. I have a little kitty tower and I have them with some covers and then I'll just wash them periodically. But right now they have some catnip so they don't poop on it. If you put catnip, the cats don't poop where they play. So I put catnip on them. Okay, so since we didn't celebrate my daughter because my husband was at the hospital, we're gonna celebrate her probably this weekend. Um, she still has to let me know if she's gonna be off or not. But I'm going to be making her, her request was carnitas. I'm also going to be making barbacoa. Some people call it birria. Um, and I'm going to be making her a tres leches cake. So I'm probably gonna record all of that. So stay tuned if you guys are interested. Okay, see you guys next time. Thank you for joining me. Bye.